three, two, one. Hi, Famous here. Today I'm starting a new series called Weapon Mastery. It's not about the builds, but it's about what is the unique characteristic of the weapon class, the positives and the negatives, and probably some tips and tricks as well. Here, in the first video, I'll talk about automatic rifles, the boss killer, the weapon class that I'm so familiar with. If you're into this kind of video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Even if you just watch until the end, I appreciate it. Now, let's begin. The positives. First, the phrase best defense is good offense does work for automatic rifles. You hardly need to invest on defense because you kill enemies so fast. And if you don't, mostly you can sneak with some exceptions of some weapon types. And not only that, you can kill enemies so fast from long distance. So you hardly need to tank enemies attacks. Second, it's made for fats. Again with the exception of the energy weapons. Most of the ballistic weapons automatic barrel mod reduce the AP cost by 50%. So combine that with the fire rate from automatic weapons, the bosses cannot survive that long. Not only that, it's naturally good at fats accuracy. Basically, it forces the user to invest to perception because most of the main commander cards are there. The third one, it's the best stealth weapon class. Of course, except railway rifles and other energy weapons. But everything like handmade, fixer, combat rifle, pipe rifle have suppressor, so they greatly reduce the noise, makes the enemy harder to find you. Not only that, they also have range. The range is very long to avoid enemies, and to mention it's really good for decryption delay ops. And the final one, legendary effect doesn't matter, build matters, because it's natural high damage per second, even if you don't have like perfect card roll legendary effects on your weapons, you still can beat 100% of the game content, it's that good. Now, let's talk about the negatives, because it's not a perfect weapon class by any means. First, the ammo management. They can be quite expensive. Of course, for exception like railway, the railway spikes is cheap. We can craft it with steel. It's cheap, but they're really heavy. So instead of expensive, you will be fighting with infantry instead. The second point, durability. It shoots fast breaks fast, so you better have backup weapons or some repair kits in your inventory. And the third negative point, limited playstyle choice on automatic energy rifles. Unlike the ballistic counterpart, the automatic mods increases the AP cost, so the efficient way to use them is by manual aiming. In current update by March 2023, FATS is still much superior DPS wise. So yeah, you're kinda limited there. You can use FATS, but won't be as efficient as the ballistic counterpart. And also the loud noise of the weapons also force you to put some investment to defensive perks, which can even make your offensive capabilities worse. And the final point, lack of power armor build choice. With power armor you can't sneak, fats cause fusion core battery, it's just really counterintuitive. But if you have plenty of fusion core on you and I think power armor with railway rifle combo should be viable. That's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and kindly subscribe for more like this. Thanks for watching and have a good day.